Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and I hope you're doing well. A lot of people in the past have asked me if Tascam's Model 12 in DAW mode works with Luna. Well, in this example, I'm going to demonstrate what works and what doesn't work. I do have a video covering Tascam's Model 12, what DAW mode is. I will leave a link in the description and maybe a card at the top so you can go and watch and understand how Tascam Model 12 works as a surface control unit. So you can control the, the AW using the faders and knobs and some of the buttons and transport as well. While I'm at it, if this is your first time here and the topics I cover interest you, please consider subscribing. And after watching this video, if you find it helpful, interesting and entertaining, please give it a like and share. It really helps my channel grow. Now, let's find out how much of Tascam's Model 12 DAW mode works with Luna. Before we start, let's put Tascam Model 12 into DAW surface control mode. For that, we click the menu and select down to control, Do controller, and we click yes. And I'm going to select Studio One because that's the most common one. I also have Studio One. But if you have Reaper or uh, Cubase and many of the other available ones are in there, of course, Luna is not there, but pretty much Studio One should cover uh, all of the uh, Mackey control unit uh, specification. So I'm just going to click uh, yes for that one and click yes. If you want to learn how that works, as I mentioned, just follow up the link in the description to see how uh, to set that up in the menu system in the previous video. Once we have Tascam Model 12 in the AW controller mode, let's set up Luna. For that, I have a test project here and uh, I've got 16 tracks here just to demonstrate. And we just go into the line, go into settings, into controller, and I have selected uh, enabled on the input device as MIDI in model 12 uh, right here and MIDI out model 12. Now don't confuse with the model 12 MIDI because that is actually MIDI in and out. And just to show you, if I go to MIDI, as you can see, Model 12 MIDI, not Model 12 MIDI 2 out and in. This is the actual the MIDI controller at the back of the unit. So at the back of the unit, you've got 5-pin DIN connector, the MIDI connector. That's what you're referring to. Where this one here, MIDI in 2 and MIDI out 2, relate to the uh, Mackie control MIDI communication between the surface control and uh, Luna. So that's I, how I have it set up. And I hope that is the correct way to set it up. So um, if you find that it's different and it works for you, let me know in the bottom because I actually tried all the different ways and this is the best I could uh, get it to work. To let you know ahead, it's very disappointing of how far it works. Now I've tested Tascam Model 12 with many DAWs, including Studio One, Reaper, Cakewalk, Pro Tools, Cubase, and they all work as expected. Pretty much every uh, option available in the DAW mode, in those DAWs that work, except it doesn't work in Luna. And we're gonna find out what works and what doesn't. And this is, uh, I've tested this with um, my Windows version, what you're watching uh, now, and I also with my Mac version. The issue is the same. Tascam works with many DAWs without any issues. I believe the issue is in Luna. So what works? Well, uh, definitely the transport works. Let me uh, move into uh, tracks here. So if I press play, you can see uh, it starts playing. I can stop it. Um, and, uh, yep, stop, all, all works. And fast forward, rewind, it doesn't work. I can use a jog wheel to move from uh, one bar to the next bar or next position. So that's all good. But the fast forward and rewind doesn't work. So if I press it, no, it just rewinds back to the beginning and doesn't do what it's supposed to do. 
the cycle, which is um, loop on and off, that works. And we can see over on the screen how that works, uh, which is all right. And that's as far as how far it actually works. If we go into um, marker point, it brings out markers, which is all right. I don't have any markers there, but it, instead of setting it, it's, um, we can set the marker there. All good. And it starts recording for some reason, even though I didn't press the record button. So it really, I'm not sure what's actually happening. So if I move it here and set a marker, it sets to record and starts recording. So <laughs> it uh, works really odd. And if we go back into um, track selection mode, so it will switch from eight banks of tracks to the other one. And we'll test that in just a moment. But as you can see, instead of putting a marker, it's arming for uh, recording and starts recording without even pressing record. So that's one disappointment there. Now, even bigger disappointment is actually the fader controls. Now, none of the faders work. No matter what I did, what option I did, nothing works. Not even the master control there nothing works the main so faders don't work which is the most important part of the surface control it doesn't work universal audio has to correct this making sure that it works because Tascam model 12 is a very popular and the most affordable surface control unit that you can buy and audio interface as well as multi-track recorder and everything else you've, you've seen on my channel and this is a great option affordable by many people if, um, you know, to a certain degree, if this is what you want to do, but it doesn't work with Luna. That's what they have to fix. And another one, I'm just going to go into channel six, so you can see in the middle of it, the pan. If I change the pan, now it's actually on track nine. Why? Because, oh, I must have pressed that. Okay, here we go. Now, track six works. Now, I'm sure you can see it works really jitterly. It doesn't really work properly. And I move it slowly. I'm at nine o'clock. It's there. And moving it slowly. I clicked here. I'm already center here on the uh, on Tascam Model 12. But over here, it's not. It's not center. And if I move slowly now, it's center over here. But I'm not center over there. That's more like two o'clock. And if I move it slowly and it just jumps all of a sudden. And then if I move fast enough, okay, now I click center here, now it's two o'clock over there. So even that doesn't work properly. Fader doesn't work, pan is very jittery, doesn't know where it is, it doesn't sync at all. Record, that works, mute works, and solo does work as well. But apart from anything after that, the most useful parts, nothing actually works. Well, I hope this um, helps you out and answer the question whether you can use Tascam Model 12 in door controller mode using Luna. The answer is at the moment, no, sadly. Just to demonstrate, here's Studio One version 5 Professional Open as a demo. Let me show you how my settings are. External devices, I've got Tascam Model 12 as Mackie Control for MIDI Out 2 and MIDI In. Let me just double click, probably you can see better. That's how I have it set up. Nothing else I have to do. And I've got um, 16 channels here. And let's see what works. So can we press play? Yep, that we can press play and that starts. Not a problem. And we can stop it. Stop. Yep, that's how it works. And then uh, we can use a cycle to enable loop. First, we got to select a loop, I guess. Let's select a loop and loop on and off. Yep, that all works as well, as we can see. And if we go into over here as a marker, and we can I already have a few markers. So let's move to the next marker. You can see. Um, over here, uh, let me just um, put a marker here to set a marker. So that works. And we can put um, a marker maybe here. Set. 
and then you can see how the timeline we can move it um, you can move it out of the way so you can actually see it better using the buttons here uh, forward and backwards we can move between markers as it should be and let's go back into track and what else we can have all right we've got the panning panning works let me use six six panning all works right here and click in the middle that's correct i move slowly and goes to the left all the way and also all the way to the left and slowly click and that's already the center yep right click click and it's already there so hopefully you can see from the screen center click and it clicks so that's in sync now the faders because obviously they're not motorized the faders on here eh, on track six is at zero db but as soon as i start moving this you can see it already catches and i can move it how i want it so that works correctly as well of course as i mentioned because they're not motorized initially they're not going to reflect um, the setting here so now if i go so i've got all of that now that reflects exactly what's on the screen there okay and let's um, bring everything down and then just to demonstrate if we move to the next set of tracks now this one should move track nine and it surely does okay and now we have the next batch of eight faders that we can move simultaneously and as well as um, the pans and so on and let's say um, this one for uh, recording there we go uh, record works mute works solo works as expected and that's pretty much everything that works and the main uh, you may not be able to see uh, oh, probably just at the bottom there you can just about see how the main the fx becomes the main fader your main output fader you can see that's moving it as well without any problem any hassle so it works as expected well i hope this video answers the question whether Tascam model 12 week works with luna and obviously the answer is no it, very limited and unusable to my um, extent so hopefully universal audio will correct and fix that so we can use Tascam model 12 well i hope this video was helpful if it was again i'll mention it please give it a like and share and if you'd like to support my channel feel free to give uh, me a super thanks or you can join my channel membership that way you get to see the videos uh, several days before it goes public and uh, you can also make a, a one-off paypal donation link in the description and i'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to my um, membership uh, members thank you for your support and for everybody else that donates and support me on youtube your support is truly appreciated by me that way i can uh, make more videos for you guys if you can't support me financially that is perfectly fine that's not a problem um, as long as you watch my videos and give the like and use the comment section uh, to comment about the videos that is still helpful enough for me well that's it for today i hope uh, you enjoyed till next time as always thanks for watching and have a great time making music cheer you guys